Hi, so today, oh, <laughs> that was a big hi. Hi, so today I'm going to be looking at another new live dealer game. This time it's from Authentic Gaming and it's called Rainbow Riches Live. Now the game's actually been out for a couple of months, but I've just I only just got round to doing a review. Although when the game came out, I played it a bit just to see what it was all about. Um, and... To be honest with you, it's fairly similar from a, another um, multiplier roulette game that they released, Sevens on Fire, but there are some changes to it which actually simplify the gameplay and understanding of the game. So um, without further ado, let's fire up the game and get into it and I'll show you how to play and we'll talk about some strategies for betting and um, what I think of the game. So here goes. Okay, so here we are. So we see um, the game is actually in progress at the moment. It's a live dealer roulette game with multipliers and there's a side game um, where you can bet on particular symbols. Now the theme of the game is of the slot, Rainbow Riches. So you do get to see the leprechaun uh, on the screen in a few locations and depending on what view of you of the wheel that you have you can sort of see the uh, the background um, from the rainbow, rainbow riches slot so that's the theme um, the roulette game is a modified roulette game so this is a game of only straight up bets that's the only bet that you can place and if you place a bet for a straight up and it wins and you don't get a multiplier with it it pays 12 to 1 so that's pretty measly there's no other bets available on this so you can't do any other inside bets or any outside bets it's just plain and simple straight up bets and because of that Authentic has done away with all the options for being able to place bets on the betting grid so apart from a bet all so you place a bet on every number or the option to just bet on four random numbers if you want to place bets in particular patterns or cover sectors of the world you're going to have to do it manually yourself so you'll probably have to refer to another game to work out the sections and then select those numbers on the on the betting grid okay so we've got um, straight up number bets they then um, get six multipliers every game round so every game round six numbers are chosen for multipliers um, and there's a selection process and I'm going to start placing a few bets before I get timed out on on this so I'm just randomly going to place some bets on the betting grid as you'll see there I shan't do this the side bets for the moment because I just don't want to confuse uh, what's going on so up to six numbers are selected using six of the characters and each of the characters or slot symbols has a multiplier value attached to it so you can see on the screen in the middle they're the uh, symbols that we've got and the numbers that they associate to and you can see across the top of the betting grid the multipliers if I have a look here you can see that the multipliers range from 500x all the way down to number 34 so we didn't win there 500x all the way down to 50x and you can see jack queen king ace of 50x's the um, clover is 100x horseshoe 200x <coughs> excuse me mushroom 200x and as you can see just in the background there there's a bonus round extra bonus round going on i'll just mention it there we've got so you've got 5x there so the way the game works is you place your bet on the main betting grid uh, they then get six of the numbers then get uh, multipliers you play the game you win or lose um, and then a random bonus um, round can appear which gives multipliers between 2x and 5x and you saw that leprechaun jumping up and down um, that 5x then applies to all the wins that you've had throughout the, that particular game round um, and it multiplies the wins by that multiplier so you can very quickly get up to, if you've got the perfect score of a 500x uh, win on the main grid, and, I, and on the symbols, the main win is 1500x, so you could, in theory, get a 10,000x payout on this game. Although the likelihood of that happening is so slim, you know, I'd bet my house on it not happening within my lifetime. 
you know so uh, <laughs> so there you go that's what i think so going on the multipliers as i said uh, mushroom and then you've got the two coins are both 500x if they appear right let's go back a bit and just explain a bit about the symbols i'm just going to play some bets here just so i don't time out you can only do straight up bets as you can see it keeps reminding me and if we have a look at the symbols here so the symbols here on the right hand side of the game there are eight of them if you place a bet on these and we'll exclude the coins for the moment you need three of the same symbols in this grid along here for you to get a payout so you can see that none of the symbols here would have won and here's the pay table here so the Jack, Queen, King, Ace, um, if you get three of the same symbols, it pays 8x, 22x for four of the symbols, five or more, you get 100x. Um, with the clovers, it's 12x, 50x and 250x. And the high paying symbols are the mushrooms and the horseshoes, which pay 40x for three symbols, 280x for four symbols and 1500x for five symbols or more now the coins are different the coins only need to appear once and if you get a gold coin you get a 50x multiplier and if it's a silver coin it's a 4x multiplier so unlike sevens on fire multipliers the symbols have no impact on the multipliers for the main game and vice versa but the main game multiplier choosing process does generate the result for the symbols if that makes sense right come on let's just uh, place a few more bets so oh, we can't we're not in betting time and that's pretty much the game um, you either you can bet on the main betting grid or the symbols or both you don't have to play both so whatever you feel is um, the game for you. Now, just as I've been playing the game, um, I haven't had a huge amount of success with the symbol bets, so I tend not to place them, but uh, let's uh, just place a couple. Well, yeah. Yeah, look, so I've won one on queens there. So we'll get an 8x payout for the two that I won there. So you can see that as 16 euros there. And then the main game is playing here. So if we get one of the, we've got some other multiplier. Well, we've got number 30. Oh, I've just missed out on that. So we've got nothing there. So I've got 16 payout. Now, if the bonus round occurred here, which it could do, that 16 euros could be multiplied by anything between two and five X. So there are ways to get boosts, even if you're not paying the playing the main game, but you've got to rely on the randomly triggered bonus round. And quite honestly, I don't know how random it is and how often it um, it appears. You know, every time I play the game, it appears. So it's not it's not something that only happens once in a while. It happens more regularly than once in a while. Now the statistics for the game are sort of in the top on this side and as you can see you can see anything between 50 and the last 500 games and you get to see the number that won on the main betting grid and whether there was a multiplier payout what it doesn't do is it doesn't tell you how much the multiplier was and it also doesn't tell you what whether there was a result on the symbol side game so that's two elements of the game that are just bereft in the results which is rather unfortunate um, I don't quite know why they only went half the way just to show you the number and whether there was a, a multiplier. Although I suppose you can work the multi multiplier out because if you know that, oh yeah, it was a mushroom, the multiplier for a mushroom is, so you've got a faff about here, is 200x. So you know that was a 200x payout. I guess if you played this game a lot, you would know these off by heart and you would just see it yourself. Me, I'd prefer if they just put something there as a hover over or just something to uh, make it easier for you to get that information. Now, as I said about betting earlier on, there's no racetrack to do uh, section bets or anything like that. Yeah, the bonus round is running now, you just see there. So wins are multiplied by 2x 
and that would be both the main win and the um, symbol win together, added together and then multiplied by that. So let's just play some. I could do a re bet, couldn't I? Uh, I'm just randomly typing. So we'll have a look at these other options down here. So straight up mode on off. All that does really is if you put your cursor on the intersection of four numbers, it would place a bet on all each of those, a full straight up bet on each of those numbers. If you have that switched off, then it won't do that for you. You actually got to pad the four numbers. Um, you can bet on all numbers. You can bet on four random numbers. So if you're not sure what numbers to bet, just bet on four. That'll do. And you can bet on all the symbols as well here. Now the RTP on this game is really interesting. So for the main roulette part, it's 98%. So it's more than standard European roulette, which is 97.3%. So you're actually getting a better return of 98% on the uh, straight up numbers. And on the symbols, the uh, RTP is even better. Um, so we're just gonna have a quick look at the pay table because I couldn't believe it when I... Uh, so the side bets are 98.6, well, it ranges from 98.336 to 98.613%. And the coin returns 99% RTP. So if I was going to play this game for any length of time, and I was playing the side bets, I'd be playing the coin and I'd be playing the mushroom and I'd be playing the uh, horseshoe because that gives me the chances of the 1500x. I'd probably play less than two euros that I've uh, put on here. And on the main grid, I would only be betting up to 12 numbers. Now the reason I settle on 12, so that's about a third of the numbers, is because that's the most that you can win. I never like to bet more than I can win. So there's no point betting 20 numbers and then getting a 12 to one payout, you know, because your bankroll is just going to go downhill. Um, if you're betting 12 numbers, you should hit, see the bonus round is occurring again. If you're betting 12 numbers, you should hit a multiplier number. So you should get the right number and the right multiplier number about once every seven spins. So if we have a look back here, You can see on average that's probably true. It's not going to happen every seven spins, but you know you're going to get dead spins. But the average will be every seven spins you'll get a multiplier, you'll get a symbol and a multiplier on your number, and that will that will come in. Doesn't necessarily happen. You might go 28 spins with nothing, and then get you know successions of, of wins after that. And that's just how these random games go. So I would be betting 12, and I would. Personally, I'd, I'd choose sections of the wheel to bet on, but you could do a, it doesn't really matter, you could do a sort of haphazard or your favorite numbers or whatever option you want, but I would stick to 12 and I'll do some low value bets on the coin, mushroom and horseshoe. And that's how I'd bet this game, because that will maintain my bankroll and also it will, uh, oh dear, zero. How many have I done there? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right, so that's the 12 there. Again, there's no rebet facility on this playing interface, which is rather annoying. So you've got to place a bet every time you want to bet, unless I've just not been able to see it. I've got an undo, I've got a bet amount, and I've got a double. Number 16, so we missed that, and we also missed the, uh, oh, no, hang on a minute. Did I bet on the horseshoe? Look, horseshoe's coming up too. Oh, I must have not bet on it. God, that's irritating. Anyway, so we would have won on horseshoe, and there would have been three, so we would have got a 40x payout there had I done it. So the bet on four random numbers, so you can do that, eight, 12, So we'll do that, we'll just try that. 
yeah, so there's no rebet. So it, it's not particularly helpful, really, this playing interface for being able to, to bet. Um, but as I said at the beginning, this game is a little less complicated than Sevens on Fire because you're not getting the symbols not getting the symbol win then having an impact on the multiplier that you get on the the, the main uh, roulette game so it's an easier game to play okay so what do I think of this I, you know it's an okay game it's not a game I'm going to keep coming back to to be perfectly honest I think there are just too many uh, playing inconsistencies with this playing interface to actually make it a game that you you can ease easily play you can't bet easily on it you can't re-bet you can't get information about the multipliers easily from the statistics um, there's just too many things that you can't do and you, that you naturally expect from a roulette interface um, I God knows why they haven't got a rebet facility um, there's no way that I can save my favorite bet so I can't use uh, betting patterns from other games or even save the ones I like playing on this particular game and sevens on fire there's no way that I can share that information across so it is a bit I almost want to say cheap um, they've gone more for the theme than they have for functionality for the player and that's where this game lets itself down okay so um, that's my review um, if you enjoyed it please give us a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't seen these uh, sort of reviews before um, I've got a load more reviews coming out um, as the games come out, so uh, keep your eye on my channel. Um, do give it a try, though. You know, each to their own. Everyone likes uh, particular games. In terms of the return that I got, I actually did okay with this game um, in other playing sessions. Um, you know, I wasn't going to win massively, but I wasn't going to lose massively. So it's not a highly volatile game. This um, it, it's quite. It's got quite nice level of volatility. The RT, RTP suggests that as well. So until my next video, uh, please be lucky, enjoy your gaming, and I'll see you then. Cheers. Bye.